have another row of almost the same signs, uh, seven signs in a row here. This top row uh, represents the, the signs of the scale used for the prose portions of the Bible. And this bottom one represents the scale for the Psalms and some other uh, poetical portions of the Bible. If you look here on the left, you're starting here on a scale, the low note will say C, for example, uh, is a good place to start a scale, an easy, easy scale to start. Uh, you have a sign that looks like a little S, and it's under the Hebrew letter. You're reading from right to left, you've got your consonants, you've got your vowels, and then you've got these extra little signs here. This one represents, let's say, the bottom note on your scale that we'll say is a C. And as you read in uh, the text, starting from the right, normally you'll start your uh, verse on the tonic, which is E, and you'll sing on the E until you come to one of these other signs, and then you move to that sign. You start on an E, and then you suddenly see that you have a little S under your Hebrew uh, consonant. You know you go down to a C then. Here's your C, a D, the second degree of the scale, E, the third degree of your scale, and this is the tonic, E. If you don't have another sign to start your verse, you start with the tonic E. Then F. This sign curves to the uh, left, and I remember it, I distinguish it from the next one, which curves to the right, because it goes in the same direction as a comma. It's the first one, the ordinary one, that comes to mind, and that's the fourth degree on your scale, F. Then this sign, it uh, is a G sharp, a little upside down V is A, and this is your rest. It occurs only in the middle of the verse one time, and there you lengthen the note and you uh, take a breath, rest there. And then you have above that a B, looks like a backward L, and the little arrow is the, is the high C. And that is your scale. It's a very simple matter. It's much easier than reading conventional notation. You just sing according to the sign you're on until you come to a new one. The same thing for the psalm texts, only there's a little different scale. If you notice, the first note of the scale here is D sharp, and it has a new sign. It looks like a little V. The rest of the signs are exactly the same as the signs in the prose scale. Exactly the same. All the way up. But the scale is slightly different. Instead of F, you have F sharp. And instead of G, instead of uh, G sharp, you have G. And so you have these two different scales uh, for the prose and for the psalms. And that takes care of the lower signs, the signs that are under the Hebrew letters. There are uh, 15 signs that appear above the letters as well. You have eight signs, uh, basically, well, a ninth one that comes under the letters, and these are the fixed notes of your scale. But Above the letters, there are ornaments. And uh, they can occur with any note. You stay on your note, uh, your basic note, and you do a little ornament with it. Uh, this first one, you go up one degree. And I'll illustrate that in a moment. The second one, you go up 
two degrees and then back to your basic note that you're singing on. You don't change that until you come to a new lower sign. Uh, then if you have two dots above it, you go one degree below what you're singing and then back. If you have one dot, you stay on your singing note and then just dip down once. I'll illustrate the difference in that in a moment. Uh, the fifth one here goes down two notes. Here you have an uh, indication of it going down two notes and then back. This sign goes up two notes and then uh, takes, the, as it comes back down, includes the middle note that you skipped going up and then back to your tone that you're singing. This is a little turn. You, you're singing along, then you take a note down, and then up, and then back to what you're singing. This one, these three dots come after this always, and it's going down once, going back to your note that you're singing on, and then going down and staying on the note below. This one is two of the second sign here, you would normally go up two notes and do that two times. Uh, Suzanne uh, Haig-Ventura interprets it that way. Uh, when you actually get to singing, you have more of a tendency of taking the first one as a lower and uh, then taking the higher. I'll illustrate all of these in just a moment. These two signs are just the opposite. You go four notes up rising with this one. With this one you jump four notes up and come down with them. These last four ornaments are found in the Psalms. Uh, this one does occur once in a while. It's rare in, in any, any text, but uh, uh, mostly this is just for the Psalms. This uh, first one here means to have a grace note, an ornament that rises a fourth. And if you're doing this with a, a little ukulele or guitar uh, and using the top uh, three strings, that means you just go to the string that's adjacent and the very position that's adjacent. It's a fourth up and then back to your basic note that you're singing. This one goes a fifth up or a fourth down, and that is the same note on the scale. A fifth up or a fourth down is the same note. And uh, that is because there's not always room to go a fifth up. So sometimes you have to take it a fourth down instead. This is a chromatic. You go down and take uh, four chromatic notes up to uh, the note you're playing, which I'll illustrate in a moment. This dot is the same as this. In the poetic system, it's just a note down and back, not a hold like this one. And I'll illustrate those uh, now with uh, the little ukulele here, but I'll have to uh, point to them so you can uh, take a look at them as well. Okay, uh, first of all, I'll give you uh, how the scale sounds. The prose scale is here starting on, well, actually I'm starting on G on the little ukulele, just transposing, but it's the same. We'll call it C. The scale sounds like this. There you have the eight notes uh, going up. The psalm scale has only seven notes, and it sounds very different. There you have it, starting at a D sharp. Now, the ornamentation, these ornaments can come with any one of these notes. Let's say we're uh, on 